ready to move on. Each and every one of us has come so far, yet we still have to move on to places even farther than where we are now. Places that will require the use of all the skills we have learned here at Cupertino Middle School and more. But we are not afraid. In fact, my classmates and I are well prepared and excited about the challenges we will face and the places we will go. Our teachers, our classmates, and of course everyone in the audience here today, parents, siblings, relatives, and friends. You have all made a difference in our lives and have directed us on the right path to success. And I know that this will continue throughout the rest of our school days and throughout life. I think all of us here owe you all a big thank you. And maybe, maybe do some chores around the house to show our appreciation tonight. <laughs> here at CMS, we are all diverse and we are all global thinkers. I am fortunate to learn a place with such a wide range of ethnic backgrounds. It is not only maybe learn about different cultures, but to appreciate how special and unique people can be. Diversity is what makes us all beautiful in our own way. And I am proud to go to a school where being original is not only tolerated, but encouraged. Think about how boring and dull the world would be if everyone were the same. Now note some of you may be thinking, a world with a couple more Justin Biebers may seem pretty exciting. But listen, if there were more than one Bieber, or even more than one of you, what would make you personally special? If there is someone else in the world exactly like you? That is why I think it is important for everyone to learn to embrace diversity. Because it is the one thing on this earth that everyone can have in common. Even Michael de Montaigne, one of the world's most influential philosophers, said, there were never in the world more than two opinions alike. No more than two hairs or two grains. The most universal quality is diversity. Perhaps the most important thing I've learned here at CMS is using the idea of being divergent as a way to changing the world. Think about how much better the world could be if everyone would just work together, regardless of the color of their skin, the language they speak, or what they look like. That is what I will keep in my mind for the rest of my life. How can I make people respect others, no matter what? Now as I stand before all of you beautifully diverse people today, I want to challenge my classmates, and all of you, to become global thinkers. I want you to continue to use diversity as the key to changing the world. But I also want to say that wherever you're going in life, that whatever you do, take time to enjoy it. Enjoy the diversity. Enjoy the differences. Enjoy the uniqueness. In the immortal words of Ferris Bueller, life moves pretty fast. If you don't stop to take a look around once in a while, you could miss it. Now, I am not encouraging my classmates to skip school and go on crazy adventures, but I am encouraging them to take time and enjoy whatever they do, even if it is during school. Lastly, I would just like to say, congratulations, Cupertino Middle School Class of 2012. We did it. Thank you. I would like to introduce our next speaker, Amiyali Lara. Yesterday was history, tomorrow is a mystery, and today is a gift. That's why we call it present. Good afternoon parents, teachers, guests, and fellow classmates. We are here on this extremely hot day to celebrate our last moments of being 8th graders. We have worked so hard to get where we are today, although homework, project, test, and, let us, <laughs> and projects have led us to this day. Middle school has been an adventure for us, and our next adventure will be high school. Some of us don't want it to end, and some of us have been dreaming about us leaving and moving on. Throughout the school year, I know most of us have hesitated to get out of bed, come to school in cold mornings and wet rainy days. But we did it. School, although we wish we could avoid it, has made us who we are today. Because of school, we have friends from all around the world, and we have learned about their different cultural and ethnic... <laughs> we are all different in our own ways, but we have a common thread that connects us. 
Together we make a bigger difference than alone. We can never let somebody tell us that we can't make a difference. While we were on a good trip to Yosem Yosemite, I met Shelton Johnson, a distinguished author and national park ranger. One thing he said that stood out to me was, don't let anyone squash your dreams. There's going to be people that are going to tell you it's not possible. You can't do it. He's right. Everywhere you go, there will be people who don't believe in you. You have to prove them wrong. Many people didn't believe I could stand in front of such a large crowd and make the speech. But here I am. At the beginning of the school year, I had a tough time, and I thought I might not graduate because of my grades. But I knew if I wanted to succeed in school and in life, I would need to turn my grades around. After I heard Shelton Johnson speak, I thought about my dream, to get honor roll. So I worked hard, improved my grades, and got honor roll for the first time in my life. This taught me that with a little effort, I can make a big change. As we graduate and move out into our global community, we need to ignore the people who tell us that we can't do something and follow our own dreams in order to succeed. We have each made a difference to our school and maybe our community. Although you may not know it, we did. As someone once said, whether you are 10, 12, or 15, you probably don't think adults are going to listen to you. Maybe you have a cause you're passionate about but don't think anyone will listen to what a kid or teen will have to say. You're wrong. You may be young, you may not have all the answers, but you are truly never too young to make a difference in this world. This means that at any age, you can make a difference. If you have a passion for helping to make a difference, go out and do it, no matter what anybody says. As a school and as individuals, we have made a difference in this world. Every time a CMS student welcomes a new student or helps a fraud friend solve a problem, they are reaching beyond themselves. As a school, we have reached out, collected and donated food, toys, and clothing for the less fortunate families in our community. Every gesture towards another person shows that even as teenagers, we have a lot to offer to the world. So don't think you are too young or too unimportant to make a difference in this world. Go out there, ignore those who tell you it can't be done, follow your dream, and see what difference you can make. Now I'd like to introduce our next speaker, Maideni Rasik. Hello and welcome, parents, graduates, and faculty members to the graduation ceremony of the class of 2012. Thank you to the teachers and administration for giving me the honor of speaking in front of the gathered audience here today. Today is a great moment, definitely worth cherishing. Commencement. It symbolizes the final representation of a group of people who have worked together for the past three years, adjusting to each other's differences and personalities. It's a total culmination of the legacy that this class is leaving for future students and teachers to admire. Here at CMS, we're not a paint-by-the-number school, where each space needs to be filled in by a certain color. Every student comes with their own paintbrush, filling in their own space. Together, we create a mural of vibrant shades, not following the guidelines of how the painting should have been done. And with such a diverse background, Cupertino allows students to be aware of the people and events around them. It's impossible to go around the corner or through a hallway without seeing a piece of culture or heritage that represents that person and what makes them unique. Whether through it's their food, language, accent, or clothing, every person identifies with a different culture in our world. Having so much exposure to numerous diversities and varying beliefs, we can't help but acquire a broader perspective on our world, enabling us to become the global thinkers we are today. In sixth grade, many of us did a world project where we took a country and studied its every aspect. Learning these facts about other countries and their beliefs make you think outside the box and allow you to create educated opinions on events in politics. For giving us these opportunities, we have our teachers to thank. Each day, we're introduced to world ideas that expand outside our community and expand our boundaries, pushing ourselves to think in a way that could possibly change the world for the better. Whether it's by joining NJHS, the Gardner Red Cross Club, or even providing community service, we're unconsciously tuning ourselves into society, ultimately launching ourselves into the bigger picture. Our time here at school has come to an end, but the lessons learned will be forever imprinted in my mind. In my seventh grade core class, I was taught to be an independent learner, to never be afraid of being the paintbrush that has a different color. 
When you think independently, having that mindset creates the ability to understand global events and periods in history that have affected our lives. The way that you present yourself as a worldly person here at school and even outside of campus communicates the way about the type of person you are. Your every action tells a small story of what you believe in and whom you see yourself as. I'd like to take a moment to thank all of the teachers and staff here at Cupertino for providing us with such valuable educations. Every morning you come prepared to teach us, eager to share your knowledge. Thank you for that and giving us your time to create a wiser and stronger generation. Also, thank you to the parents of each and every student here for being our biggest fans and the people constantly cheering us on from the sidelines. My experience here at CMS has been one of a kind, each moment never regretted. So go on into high school and live to the fullest. Learn about the areas surrounding you and connect with the people there. This is our chance. Show the world what we're capable of and don't be afraid to be the paintbrush. As Paul Valerie said, the best way to make your dreams come true is to wake up. Thank you again for being here today and congr congratulations to the class of 2012. I now have the honor of introducing the Board of Trustees member, Gary McHugh. Thank you. Okay, I'm not used to having my audience behind me, but uh, let me ask a question. When was the last time you were traveling and asked your parent, are we there yet? Today marks a milestone in your educational journey. You've come a long way, but you're not there yet. Let's look at how much longer it will take and some thoughts for tomorrow. If your goal is a bachelor's degree, you've come about halfway. Only about eight year, more years to go. If your goal is a master's, you've come, you have a year or two beyond that. Add a few more years for a JD, MD, or PhD. If your goal is lifelong learning, as I hope it will be, you should not really need to count the years. Lifelong learning requires only the decision, determination, and discipline to learn more. I know that you have this self-discipline that discipline that will successfully carry you through high school and beyond. Other reasons for your success are your willingness to learn, your teacher's inspiration, dedication to subject matter, clear presentation, and valuable assessment and feedback, Ms. Butler's and her staff's focus on creating a fun, safe, and challenging place to learn, your parents' insistence that you do your best, your PTA and school site council who provide money, moral support, and volunteers. Your student council and web leaders who provide self-governance and spirit. And the behind-the-scenes staff at the district office who created and managed an excellent school system, one of the finest in California. Your success is a team effort. You are the reason the team is in place. You are the stars of the team. And that's why we are celebrating today your promotion to high school. In celebrating your success, I hope you'll remember the entire team. Let's give everyone a big hand. This afternoon, you sit here on the Cupertino Field, a field of memories. How many times have you walked or run the track, played soccer or baseball in the evenings or on weekends? Take a look at the classrooms, which are home to more memories. These memories are the rec recollection of events that make Coop a special place. I hope you will take a minute, or a minute to reflect on the learning that took place here. The good times and the challenges are only memories now. I know your teachers and staff will remember each of you and want to know from time to time about how you are doing. They do care about you very much. One small kindness would be to keep in touch with them over the coming years. Ahead of you, in your mind's eye, is another field, a field of dreams. Dreams are the thoughts that keep you going. It is called hope. Some dreams are big and some are small, big hopes and small hopes. You know that not all of them will be fulfilled, yet you should know that dreams combined with effort can become reality. 
After my son finished his first year of high school, I asked him what advice he would give to entering freshmen. Without hesitation, he said, Think for yourself and be creative. Don't let people push you around and make you feel inferior. You have great potential. And I agree with him and would add that if you also develop a strong moral and ethical sense, respect all people, and lend a helping hand to others, your potential will be realized many times over. Let me close by saying congratulations and best wishes to you, the Cupertino class of 2012. Thank you. Good evening, everybody. My name is Kara Butler, and I have the extreme pleasure of being the principal here at Cupertino Middle School. I will definitely keep it brief because I realize people are really not here to see me. You know, every year we strive to select a unique theme that captures our graduating class, and really that's no easy feat, as each class has its own markers, and we really only have three years to get to know them. This year, what really struck many of us was how worldly the kids seem to be this year. They are so much more aware of what is happening around them, and they are so much more interested in things that are taking place beyond their own neighborhoods. Things like Coney 2012, One Day Without Shoes, and raising funds for disasters that happened halfway around the world. I know when I was their age, the only thing I was concerned about was the fact that MTV had started and I didn't have cable. <laughs> or when the Iran-Contra hearings were happening, I couldn't watch my soap operas. The world has really changed. The kids have changed. What they have access to, what they're exposed to, is so much broader than anything else we ever experienced. Consequently, we have to change to meet their needs. We have to push them. We have to challenge them. And this year's theme is a perfect example of this. I had several students who approached me to get a better understanding of what we were looking for. It was meant to be difficult, to force them to think critically, problem solve, and be creative. It was important to have them relate their speeches to, world, to the world they live in. And having heard the speeches, I can say they did an amazing job. Absolutely. It is clear that our students get the connection between living in our wonderfully diverse school community and how that expands their view of the world. I am confident that this class will leave their mark on the world as they had already left one on Cupertino Middle School. You know, this is where I'm supposed to insert a really profound quote that would express my pride and hope for this class's future. But really, guys, it comes down to this. Don't end up as a web redemption on Tosh.0. <laughs> now it gives me great pleasure to introduce our first name reader, Adi Zilberstein. Woo!